It's got a final word from Ambassador Oren and Benjamin Anthony still with me that in the studio. <laughs> yeah, it's that interesting to see questions. how it's very coming interesting. from Morocco. Listen, what happened last Saturday night, among other things, was a very good advertisement for Israeli technology and mm. the sale of that technology. And we're talking about the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 and David Slings, the intermediate uh, level missile, which are joint U.S.-Israel projects, uh, Iron Dome, which is an Israeli project with American backing. Um, but here you have the world's only multi-layered, combat-tested uh, system, anti-missile system. And there are many customers that are going to line up to buy this. And so, okay, we, uh, we dodged that bullet, but in terms of uh, sheer uh, financial gain, um, last Saturday night was a bonanza. Mm. And uh, yeah, if you connect the dots globally, mm. uh, Benjamin, you know, you've got mm. Iran selling drones to Russia. Here are the Europeans, you know, uh, lecturing Israel on, on how it should respond to Iran. They might very well have their own problems with Vladimir Putin on their doorstep. Yeah, I, I'd like to, to talk about some positive outcomes of what's taken place. I remember walking in Tel Aviv in 1991. I heard the word patriot. We were dependent upon the Americans for a very, very, very uncertain system of air defense against the SCADs from Iraq. What a great advancement we've made since then. Also, the alliance of the Abraham Accords has held up. I thought it would be stress tested by a protracted war in the Gaza Strip. That's not been the case. But it's only going to hold up as long as we can project, project strength. And the more uh, the, po the more potent our response to Iran is, the more decisive our response to Iran is, the stronger those alliances will remain, the more durable they will prove, and the more likely it will be that they can be expanded. So I hope to see all of those things occur and take right, there's an interesting give, give war a chance. Yeah, well, right. There's an interesting <laughs> paradox, though. It's yes. right that yes. um, Israel has to be seen to be strong Definitely. in the neighborhood. It has to be seen to be compassionate in the mm -hmm. West, and that is kind of... It is very difficult. Causing problems, difficult. isn't it? But these, the countries, the Abraham Accord countries, other countries in the Middle East, uh, face twin existential threats in the form of Sunni extremism, Shiite extremism. There's one country that's standing up to both of them. This is it, the state of Israel. And this is why we have to prevail. We win the war, we get the peace. All right. Benjamin? Yeah, I completely agree. We're on the front line of that combat, that clash of civilizations. The only problem is the Western powers, I don't believe, quite recognize it yet.